Solve the equation. We have 2 thirds x minus 5 6 equals 1 half x plus 1 fourth. We have variables on both sides of the equation. We'll try to get the variables on the left and the rational numbers or the constants on the right. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 1 half x from both sides. So it's going to be 2 thirds x minus 1 half x. I have to do a little scratch work on the side here. 2 thirds minus 1 half. The common denominator is 6. So I multiply the 2 thirds by 2 over 2. So it'll be 4 over 6 minus, and then this will be 3 over 6. 4 6 is the same as 2 thirds. 3 6 is the same as 1 half. I multiplied by 2 over 2 on the left and 3 over 3 on the right. So 4, 6 minus 3, 6 is 1, 6, x. And then the negative 5, 6 is still there. Equals, and the x term is gone here, 1 fourth. So I'm going to add 5, 6 to both sides. So we're going to have 1, 6, x, and the negative 5, 6 plus 5, 6 makes 0, so that's all that's on the left. On the right, we're going to have 1, 4 plus 5, 6. I'm going to do the scratch work here, 1, 4 plus 5, 6. Common denominator here is 12, so the left fraction, 1, 4 needs to be multiplied by 3 on the top and the bottom. It's 3 twelfths, and then plus, and 5, 6, that needs to be multiplied by 2, so it's 10 over 12. And 3 plus 10 is 13, and that's over 12. So now we have 1 6 x equals 13 twelfths. The last step is multiplied by the multiplicative inverse of 1 6 so that's times 6 over 1 on both sides. So 6 times 1 over 1 times 6, that's 6 over 6, which is simply 1. So we're going to have just x here. And then it's going to be 6 times 13, then divided by 12. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this in simplified form just to make it a little bit easier. 6 times 13 over 1 times 12, which is 12. The reason why I did that is because the 6 and the 12 have a common factor of 6. So I can simplify make this a 1, make this guy a 2. So now it's 1 times 13 over 2, that's much easier. So x equals 1 times 13, which is 13, and then divided by 2. Or you could say x equals 6.5 if you prefer. Okay, so that's one solving technique. Let me show you the other one of multiplying through by the LCD. In this case, we have a 3, 6, 2, 4 for denominators. The lowest common denominator is 12. So I'm going to multiply by 12 over 1 for every single term in this equation. So we're going to have 12 over 1 times 2 thirds x minus 12 over 1 times 5 6 equals 12 over 1 times 1 half x plus 12 over 1 times 1 fourth. Now I just want to point out that there is a difference when you're solving between giving the fractions a common denominator and multiplying through by the LCD. What we're doing is multiplying through by the LCD. That's a mathematics trick to get rid of the fractions in the equation. We're not trying to give them all the common denominator. We're trying to get rid of the fractions completely so it's easier to solve. So let's simplify. 12 times 2 is 24 divided by 1 times 3 which is 3 and that's x minus 12 times 5 which is 60 over 1 times 6, which is 6, equals 12 times 1, which is 12, divided by 1 times 2, which is 2. That's x plus 12 times 1, which is 12, over 1 times 4, which is 4. OK, now let's simplify. And if we did this right, all the fractions should go away. 12 divided by 3 is 8, so that's 8x minus 60 divided by 6, which is 10 equals 12 divided by 2, which is 6, and then x, plus 12 divided by 4, which is 3. 
okay, now all the fractions are gone. should be real straightforward solving. I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. I'm going to get the variables on the left and the constants on the right. 8x minus 6x is 2x minus 10 equals 6x minus 6x, which is 0. This is gone. And then just the 3 is left over. 2x minus 10 equals 3. The next step is to add 10 to both sides. So then just the variable term is alone on the left. So we have 2x, negative 10 plus 10 makes 0, equals 3 plus 10, which is 13. Divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 makes 1. So we just have x equals 13 halves, or x equals 6.5. And that's the same answer we found using the first method, too. So I'm going to circle x equals 13 halves. You can enter 6.5 as your answer if you wanted to as well. I wanted to illustrate both methods of solving this equation so you can see them and then you can decide for yourself which one you would prefer to use.